Hi, this is Thunder Yee from BorderWork.com and welcome to our first video of 2010. Um, it's been a great new year so far, we've come to the new year and coming up very soon is CES. But what I want to talk about today, uh, what I think are five uh, technologies that would be headliners this year in 2010. Five technologies I think will be cha game changers, will, will be things that we'll be all talking about in various stages. So I'll go ahead and start the list from... Uh, I'll say my number number five um, tech for the year would be e-readers and e-reader craze. Um, we've seen in the last two months where uh, various companies have uh, taken the challenge that Amazon had brought up with the Kindle and by releasing their own forms of e-readers. Uh, you know, we have the Nook from Barnes & Noble. We have um, all the various e-readers that are coming out. Um, we also have, you know, Sony re-advertising the Stephanie's game with Sony e-reader. And uh, I think that's uh, that's an area where a lot of uh, companies are trying to capitalize and get into the market. Why? Well, there's still a lot of people in the large generation who are not as tech savvy, want something simple and easy to use, and you know, I'm and also want to get themselves um, into that technological phase. Uh, reading books is still big, you know. Uh, those of us who don't like to read, sorry. But you know, it's, it's still big, and um, the uh, e-readers, especially what Amazon did with the Kindle, where it's a very simple way to get a book without being technologically savvy, it actually does a good job of just keeping it simple as well as very efficient. Um, has It go goes into that market, and a lot of people uh, like that. And I think uh, e-readers will advance, it probably might meld into the area of being just tablets itself, which you know will come up on our list, but I think that will be a very good bridging gap, and I think that's a very big area that's going to expand this year, and they're going to get cheaper and cheaper to a point, I think, maybe not this year, but right now the average price for a good e-reader from the Kindle to you know the Nook is about, um, I believe, $200, $300, depending on the size range. So you're going to have that, <coughs> that craze jump, so that's my number five tech that I think will be, will be pushing a lot this year. Um, my number four technology, and I think which would be um, big, is actually um, Android and the mobile OS market. Um, 2009, you know, most a lot of people consider it was the year of Android and Google, but I think 2010 will be that year because um, the mobile market is growing, especially the smart smartphone mobile market. And, um, you know, we know uh, Apple is the dominant factor in the U.S., you know, and then you have BlackBerry, we're in the room with BlackBerry, and Android has come out of the cut and just basically ridden this wave all across, and everyone's excited, everyone's excited about, you know, the launch of the Nexus One phone. And, um, you know, this year we're going to see more Android devices, more companies picking them up, more companies making, you know, software manufacturers making Android phones. You know, we know HTC has jumped on board fully. Uh, Samsung also is there. And um, seeing that big push to Android will basically galvanize the cell phone market. Now, we know Palm has, has a press conference, CES. Uh, we have no idea what they're trying to do or what they will do with at their press conference this year, but I'm sure just with the of uh, the move of uh, Google, that's going to be shake the market as a whole to say, excuse me, to say um, uh, people or the different manufacturers who are going to step up and do something big. You know, Apple is rumored to come out with 4.0. Um, OS for the uh, iPhone, uh, Windows Mobile is somewhere down the line this year. We know Palm is doing something. Rim is going to come up with some slew, and Android is really pushing it. So I think Android and the uh, basically Androids mostly in the mobile market will be big news this year. So I think that's my for me that's my number four uh, um, technology. Number three, um, I say HD movies. You know the HD three D movies. I mean sorry, three uh, D movies. Uh, in theaters and 3D movies at home. Um, wh why, why is that so? Avatar right now is the biggest movie in the world. You know, it came out roughly two weeks ago. And right now it's at $760 million worldwide. This has basically proven everything that James Cameron has tried to do. This, is, this also shows that peop uh, people are interested in watching 3D movies on that kind of scale. Uh, we're not talking about your um, yearly uh, Kids flicks that are 3D movies that you know we take you know either our nephews, cousins, little brothers, sisters, you know children to go see. But well, we're talking about live action 3D movies, and um, Avatar I think has set that pace forward. We know very well that uh, 
especially this year CES, a lot of uh, manufacturers are going to come up with show us their, their range of 3D television sets and uh, Blu-ray players. Sony has already stated that. Samsung will be coming out with some. Pioneer also. So we, we're going to see that big push uh, to 3D this year because we already have, uh, we're going to be having valuable content. Also not forgetting that uh, DirecTV is coming out with a 3D channel in 2010. So the big push for 3D will be, it will start in 2010. I think we're going to see a lot of that throughout the whole year. And we're going to see that push uh, move forward. Um, so yeah, that's my number three uh, technology for the, for the year. I think we'll, that will make a lot of noise and make a lot of waves. Number two, I would say, is um, TV on the go. Um, TV on the go ties in a lot of things. We've heard rumors of Apple uh, releasing, uh, basically combining the iSlate with a subscription service that allows you to watch different TV shows. We know we know how big Hulu is with 4 million subscribers on a daily basis. Um, and we, we, we've heard of Hulu going into subscription model, which actually might benefit and make it more robust service where we have a bigger catalog. But the fact that we have internet TV or at least streaming services that provide TV content on a friendly regular basis uh, I think is going to be very big this year. It would be, be Apple, it'd be Hulu or th another party come through, even TV.com which is already you know competing with Hulu in the same space. I think the idea that we will start having the ability to you know leave our, our homes, travel you know from the East Coast to the West Coast and watch the same shows or content that we usually work in our lo local area, area without having to um, um, leave our comfort zone, so to speak. I mean, as once, once you have a computer, a laptop, a tablet device, who knows, maybe, you know, nice little courier, you will be able to watch uh, TV, even on your mobile phones, I think. So I, I think that push or for, you know, the dream that um, we've heard in the past of internet TV, I think is slowly coming come to fruition and I think we'll see that this year on a very large scale be it Hulu be it Apple that subscription be it anyone else I think that's gonna be very big this year and our number one and what I think is our number one uh, uh, news breaker this year would be tablet computing uh, the isolate uh, which is the room and name for the Apple tablet Microsoft Korea um, we you know all the manufacturers which I'll, I'll get to in a second but from all indications and all things, it looks like every single manufacturer out there is making a, a tablet PC of some form. We've had tablet PCs in the past, you know, but there were more traditional PCs that folded around to a tablet. But we're looking at uh, a point in time where we know that um, Apple has something in the works. We don't know what it is specifically, but in all indications look like it, it is a tablet, which we call the Isolate and might come up with a service which I just mentioned. Um, how the device looks and runs, we'll see when Apple decides to announce that, if that's on January 26. Uh, we've seen the Microsoft, Microsoft Courier, we've seen the demos of it, we've seen how it looks, we've seen how um, you know, uh, unique and different. We also heard that um, Ace is coming out with one, Dell is coming out with one also, and they should be making announcements at CES. So I think that will be one of the biggest, biggest, uh, you know, uh, tech waves this year, you know, uh, internet, um, tablet computing, and how that changes the market. You know, right now the c computing space is becoming very crowded. We have, we have netbooks, we have laptops, we have ULVs, we have smartbooks. We also now have, are going to be getting, you know, specified tablets. Price ranges, we don't know, but I think that will be very big. So, you know, those are the five top things you know, I mentioned. You know, number five again, uh, e-readers. You know. Which would be a very big push in the market. I think the second, the, the number four would be Android and the mobile market space. Uh, number three, I'm saying is 3D movies. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, number two, I, I think a TV on the go, internet TV will be very big also. And I think finally, uh, tablet PCs would be the biggest thing we see this year. So, you know, that's my top five list. Let us know what you think. Um, uh, leave a video response if you want or just leave a comment on the YouTube page subscribe to our YouTube page it's easy by clicking the yellow button uh, subscribe to our, our uh, Facebook fan page just support of work into Facebook you can search for that or you can also uh, subscribe to our Twitter page which is just board of work B double R E D at work and um, let us know what you think the response leave your what you think are the top five texts that you'll see this year that will create waves and again, this is Thunder E from Border Works saying, always enjoy your entertainment. Thank you.